Hi friends, I'm Prairie Vintage Jewelry. My name is Linda. I'm an intuitive energy reader here on YouTube and I use spirit and tarot to communicate energy to you, the viewer. We are now taking a look at Capricorn and you don't have to be Capricorn Sun. You can be Capricorn Sun, Moon or Rising or just have heavy Capricorn placements in your birth chart. Maybe you're here checking out uh, this reading for your favorite Capricorn person. That's welcome too. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you stumbled across it, this message was meant to find you. Maybe you have no Capricorn in your chart, but just kind of want to see what this is about. That's fine. There's a message here for you for sure. Uh, and what we're looking at is the month ahead. So I am recording at the end of January 2023. So this is a look into February 2023. But again, if you're outside of that window, take this as the month coming in for you. Capricorn. Okay, we'll be using the Dreaming Way Lenormand deck and we will be doing a nine card tableau spread for Capricorn and we'll ask Spirit for a clear and concise message. Oh my gosh, Capricorn, you're starting off with the sun. I am so jealous. All right, so thank you, Spirit. Clear and concise message for Capricorn and Capricorn. Thank you so much for allowing me to tap into your energy i'm so blessed and grateful thank you so much now let's see what's in store for you capricorn all right i've seen a lot of positive uh, readings okay we got whips of course for capricorn with the whips <laughs> ah we got hearts okay let's keep going Clover, holy, you've got, yeah, you've got some pretty powerful cards here. Pretty up and down, but definitely very powerful. We got house, we got stars. We'll lay all the cards before we get into the reading. We got tree, we got key, and we got the fox. Okay, so there's a feeling a little bit of a bittersweetness kind of, but um, definitely very powerful cards here, okay? So the fact that we have house in the center is kind of the flavor of the month here for February or the upcoming month, depending when you clicked on this. And what I feel with house, this is family issues and this is family, this is love, this is home, this is protection, this is um, security, okay? So this is kind of theme, but we'll start with the beginning. So sun, whips and heart sun talks about shedding light contentment joy there's nothing more powerful than the sun okay so i believe that maybe um because we are followed by the whips that maybe there is painful situation here that potentially brought you a lot of joy that is now maybe bringing you some pain in your heart space okay so your heart space is anything you emotionally um, felt kind of uh, attached to. Certainly could be a relationship, but could be, um, you know, an, an emotional attachment to a job or something that, you know, um, you're emotionally invested in. And the whips is the most challenging card in the Lenormand deck. The fact it comes after the sun, sun is still way more powerful and trumps anything in its way. But I feel like there is this painful situation that maybe there's more clarity on now in regards to it matters of the heart okay so i feel the the sun card is trumping over the whips but i feel like with the happiness with the identification and clarity that you're doing you've identified some pain in your heart space and it hurts okay it hurts but the good news is that you are able to identify and there is heavy joy that also comes with this identification of pain okay so now we have sun house and fox and this is like happy home this is like security this is clarity around home but because we have the fox here fox speaks of deception the fox speaks of trickery the fox can also speak a career and i feel like what's happening here is maybe there was um some clarity around maybe something that was a little bit um not as you saw it, maybe a little bit deceptive in regards to your security or your family or your home life um, that's caused pain. So you feel like maybe you were slighted in some way or something wasn't as it seemed. Maybe your security was a false type security, but you're identifying this with the sun. They're shedding light around this. Okay, again, bittersweet, right? Because now at least we're seeing something for the truth, but maybe it's painful in some capacity here. 
Okay, now we got sun, clover, and tree, and this gives a, this is um, the most powerful uh, row here, I feel, out of your reading here, kicking off, because the sun, like I said, is very, very powerful, but the clover in the Lenormand deck is the most powerful card, the most beautiful card, the most positive, and that coming with the sun, it's like this abundance of joy and luck and um just all these wonderful things that could possibly happen are happening and i feel like this is giving you strength longevity okay so maybe something that felt um like it was painful is now allowing you to grow and give you stability and longevity this is also health this is long-term health maybe there's um in February, you also find out that maybe your health is coming in strong, okay? There is this heavy, heavy emphasis on luck and abundance for the month of February. Abundance, growth, luck, health. And it's really overpowering any sort of pain that you might be experiencing in this growth around maybe family issues. Okay, so now we're looking at the whips, the house, and the key. I feel like there is pain. Um, that's identified in the stability, uh, that you might've thought was stable is maybe, um, brought a lot of pain, but there is a solution right around the corner here with the key. And this could very well be buying a new home. This could be starting a new home life. This could be starting a new family. Maybe where there was pain, you're now entering a new way of living. There is a solution around stability and home that maybe caused pain in the past, or even though it might feel painful, there's still this way to move forward in your uh, home life, okay? Uh, and then we have heart, stars, and fox. And I feel like this heart with stars, this is like wish upon a star. This is like emotional, um, being emotionally fulfilled with dreams beyond our capacity, things we thought we could never achieve for ourselves. And I feel like this fox card is giving me seven of swords energy, um, which is weird because this is where it was for, um, I forget which sign it was, but it's giving me almost like you have to kind of be selfish for yourself and kind of think about what's going to fill you up and your heart up and go after your dreams. So I feel like this fox is almost at the, um, if you have to maybe think selfishly about yourself and your own stability, um, maybe you're doing a lot of that for February in order to get what it is that you want. Okay, um, now with the Clover House and Stars, this is definitely um, a lucky opportunity for you to really move towards what your family life and stability looks like and its wishes coming true with the stars. Okay, it is absolute great um, luck, abundance, and I feel like whatever was pained in the past is turning into a very lucky situation for you, whether you um, are able to really see it or not. But I feel like you are able to see it because the sun card is talking about providing clarity, but I still feel like there is still some pain here that's kind of needing to resolve itself, okay? And I feel like it does here because with the tree talking about health, it could very well be healing oneself after a painful situation when it comes to stability and heart matters. And I don't normally read this way, but I will read it because I see here there being a uh, long-term longevity and stability around heart matters and healing around heart matters that might've been very painful. Okay. And now the bottom row here, we have the tree, the key and the fox. So I feel like the solution here is to heal oneself. And I'm still feeling this selfishness type energy because I feel like you really need to focus on the solution to provide your own self uh, well-being when it comes to your own physical health, your own growth. It could be mental health. It could be emotional health. And I feel like for a lot of this, it is emotional health that's been suffering here and a need for stability. And I feel like you're really finding your solution here. Maybe something was a little bit deceptive that's caused pain in your home structure, but now you're shifting. You're shifting because there's luck around you being provided so much clarity and joy and abundance, having your wishes kind of coming true in healing yourself and finding solutions, okay? Um, so I think we read all the lines. And uh, yeah, Capricorn, I feel for you because it's kind of like a little bit of a bittersweet. 
but um, this is probably the most powerful um, line that I've seen in all the readings that I've done, which is healing yourself after some turmoil. Maybe you're doing heavy shadow work and it's freeing you up with this key to provide um, your own sense of stability around your heart matters, about your dreams coming true, what it is you truly want for yourself. It's opening doors for yourself. It was a painful road but it's certainly providing a lot of clarity. And I feel like these two cards together is beyond your wildest dreams of um, attaining your heart's content and going after what it is you want, despite what other people around you might think. And other people might be deceptive in some capacity around maybe the ones causing you pain or have caused you pain are now trying to create some sort of deception here, but I feel like you can see it and you're blessed with like and uh, love and you're blessed with family and um, stability for yourself, for your health, for your growth, for your abundance. You, you hold the key. You hold the key to overcome this challenge, okay? So Capricorn, don't forget to check out your sun, moon, or rising signs. Um, I enjoyed this reading. I hope you did too. Leave a like, leave a comment, and we'll see you soon. Bye.